Today I'm covering my seven tips to get you writing your first draft. Tip number one, outline and character synopsis. Maybe you're thinking, oh, I'm not an outlining person. I prefer to write by the seat of my pants. That's great, but if you want to avoid potential plot holes and missing elements, I highly recommend creating some form of outline so that you know where your story is going to go at all times, and it can always be modified. When writing your outline, you can also work on the character synopsis for each one of your characters. Take the time to find out who your characters are, what they look like, their goals, their ambitions, what happened to them in their past list their strengths and weaknesses, get to know them on a personal level. Tip number two, give yourself permission to write. What I mean by this is give yourself permission to write badly. The goal of the first draft is just to get the story written. You don't need to do all the fancy schmancy words yet, unless they come to you naturally. And if it sucks, that's okay. Being a perfectionist during the first draft is the last thing you want to be at this point. Get your story down while it's hot and fresh in your mind and you're excited about writing it and worry about all the details later. Tip number three, writing out loud. As you type, read out loud, especially with dialogue. You want to make sure that the conversation is flowing and sounds natural. Then go back and read it out loud again. It's really amazing how it can sound one way in your brain and a completely different way when you read it out loud. Fun fact, I actually learned that tip from my mom when I was a just a youngin and she was writing her book. Step number four, create a schedule and set some goals. This probably will not be the last time that you hear me advocating for setting a schedule. I'm part of the hashtag 5am writers club. This is when I write, no questions asked. I usually will do this six days a week and allow myself one day to sleep in, but if I can, I'll go seven days. My minimum daily goal is a thousand words during that 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. time slot. If I don't hit that goal during that time, I have to find time later in the day to work on my book. When you have this schedule and you reach your goals during the day, you really get a great sense of accomplishment and feeling productive. Step number five, drink the coffee or the wine. I don't need that extra boost of caffeine to write my novel, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't help. I find that my fingers move more quickly, I get into the zone and I jump into my character's skin that much easier. Same with wine. Whenever I occasionally write in the evening, I have a glass or two of red wine, dive right into the scene, and really make what's happening in her world come to life on the page. Again, those two things are totally optional. You don't need to do those things. Step number six, listen to music. This is optional. Listening to music might not work for everyone, but it's the one way that I truly find that I can get in the zone. I stick to instrumental music only, and there are some great playlists on Spotify that I love. Um, one being intense studying, another being epic soundtracks, soft piano music. My all-time favorite playlist to listen to while I write is the soundtrack to the movie, The Theory of Everything. Go check it out, it will blow your mind. Last but not least, tip number seven. Write to be read, not published. Hear me out, your long-term goal may likely be to get published. That's great. Set yourself those goals and work towards them as hard as you can. What I mean is write because you love it. Write because you have a badass story that needs to be told. Write because you don't feel like yourself when you skip a day. Write a story that you want to read. Write a manuscript that you will be proud of in the years to come. The hard work will speak for itself in the end. Don't write to be the next great author. Write because writing is who you are and the greatness will speak for itself. I'm Lisa Corys, that's all the time I have for you today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and go subscribe to my page. You can find me on various social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter, at Lisa Corys, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.